Hey, so we're doing a quick video here showing how to crop, how to resize a video for a YouTube banner or YouTube cover art, the large picture in the background for your YouTube profile. And we're using resizeimage.net, which is a free uh, online uh, you know, a website that you go to to, uh, to do this. So it looks pretty simple, and it is, but it's pretty, um, it, it, it works well. So the first thing we do is upload your image. So you just click on upload image here. We'll bring up your desktop thing and you can choose the image that you want to uh, to use. So we'll be using this one first. And depending on your connection, it can take a little bit of time to upload and what you're just waiting for it to, to pop up down, down here somewhere. So once that's up, then you're ready to go. So we're not going to crop it off the bat. What we're going to do is come down to the resize section here. Now to get the size, I've just gone into Google and gone YouTube cover out size. 2560 by 1440, so that's 2560 pixels um, wide by 1440 pixels high. So we're just going to resize to one of those. So we'll keep the aspect ratio and we'll put in here the 2560. And so the aspect of this image is, uh, is already set up for what we wanted 2560 by 1440, so that's all we're going to have to do. So really that's it, then we come down to here and we'll keep it at the best image quality and because it's not for your website, it's for YouTube, so YouTube's going to be hosting it, so there's no issues about speed. So we are just going to make the image the best quality that you can, so this is just seems to be set there, so you want to go and, even though we're, uh, so yeah, you'll go and resize image and then it will come up with the details of what you've got there. So 2560 by 1440, our new image is resized and it's a large file and we will just do it like that. So all you need to do from there is click on download image and the image will, because it's uh, renamed as something by resizeimage.net so you want to, uh, to rename it. But it will come up into wherever uh, your things usually download to, your downloads folder or whatever. Now if you were uploading it to your own website, or let's say it was a site and it had a restriction saying that the file size was too big, you'd come here onto this compression, and you'd just move this around a little bit, and you'd click resize image, and it's going to show you your new file size, so that's 600 kilobytes, so let's say that you were doing it for your own website, you probably wouldn't want it any more than, well, for a banner image, let's say 200, and for a standard image 100, so you'd come down here and you'd resize it, you'd get it down to you know, to about where you wanted it to. You'd download it, you'd have a look at it, and then you'd compare, you know, that image quality over the size, and you'd, you'd decide looking at your page whether, or, or what you were using it for, whether you could increase the file size or not. So now we've got a perfect uh, banner image, and that was very simple because the aspect was already fine, so we didn't need to, to crop it at all, but in most cases it's probably not going to be like that. So we'll use another image as well. Uh, and we'll use this one here. So I've just gotten these images from um, just uh, from Google, and I'm just playing around with it. So we we'll use this one, which is Festival of Lights in New Plymouth. The last one was uh, South Island, New Zealand, somewhere. And sometimes when you're doing the second one or whatever, it can be a bit uh, f fussy, or you have to keep reloading it. But that's fine. It's worked fine there. So. So our size is 2560 by 1440, so the first thing, first thing we're going to do is uh, resize. So we'll put in 2560 here, and it goes to 2560 by 1920. Now if this was Photoshop or something, you'd then get your resized image and you'd make up a, a new one, the perfect size, and you'd drag it in and you'd like set it how you want it. Um, but I'm not sure how to do that with this, so what I find is easiest is just to resize this and download this one. So we'll just download this one that we've got here, and that's going to pop up into here, and it's this one with a 1 on it. So then I'm going to upload that image that I've just got one dimension right on, and then crop it to the exactly the size that I want. Now you could probably do it in one step with this, but I haven't actually worked out how, so I'm doing it this way. So downloads, we're going to this one. And then this time around when it loads, we're going to go to this crop your image section instead. 
and we're going to go to fixed aspect ratio because we already know exactly what size we want to crop it to. So, but we'll wait until it loads because otherwise it won't screw it up. And I've got a pretty fast connection. This is actually not even using Wi-Fi. It's plugged into uh, high-speed internet. So the one thing that can be a hassle with this is the time it can take. If you work with lots of images, it's not really the ideal. Okay, but anyway, we've got it now. Uh, 2560 by 1440 is what we want to crop it to. So we'll put in fixed as aspect 2560 by 1440. Uh, and then I'm going to push select. And then when I draw something, it's going to have a fixed aspect. So now I can move it around here. Get it to where I want. So I want that boat with the light on it because that looks nice. And I'll balance it with that tree on the left and with the taller trees. And I'll change that to an O. Select and I'm going to push crop. So now it's cropped it to the exact size that I need. I'll go to resize just to see the size. So I've got a three megabyte image again. If I needed it compressed, I come to here and I play around with it. Not pushing compress, but just doing this and then moving this and doing resize each time. And once I got the the images I wanted it, then click here again to download image. And so we'll have a quick look at these ones and uh, just see how they've turned out. So these are the ones that we've just done now. So this one's been resized, nice quality, looks fine. That's the original one, so you can see, you know, how, how easy and quick that was. And that one is the other one that we did. So you can see that the quality, you, you can see the file name, so this is the one that we've downloaded. And you can see the quality is, is fantastic. So nothing to, you're not compromising on quality at all with this tool. So I hope that was useful, and if you've got any questions or need any other tips or tutorials, then uh, let me know. Just something to keep in mind is something I've been using a lot lately, is uh, if you're using Chrome on your own um, computer, then you can download one of these um, apps onto there. And, what, and the app that I'm talking about is this one called Pixelate Editor. And once you've got this, so enter more tools, extensions and then you search through there and it's pixel art editor and this one actually pops up and you can do it all in your browser and they've made it look a little bit like photoshop in terms of the way that it's laid out and the way they've laid out the tools and something well a lot like photoshop really so it's something i've been playing around with and it's quite quick and convenient in your browser and it's something that's worth checking out as well i hope that helps and uh yeah let me know if you need anything else cheers